Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello students. So now we are going to start with the problem number one, which is based on normal form. So here a matrix is given and we'll convert that into normal form to find the rank of a matrix. So the question is, we have to reduce the following matrix to normal form and we have to find its rank. So guys here matrix A is given. So here the elements are 1, minus 1, 3, 6, 1, 3, minus 3, minus 4, 5, 3, 3, 11. And we have to reduce this to the normal form. So now we know that the normal form is a matrix which is in the form of IR000. So it means all elements in that matrix are either 0 or 1. So we have seen in the previous video that whenever we want to reduce any given matrix to the normal form, we convert all elements as 0 and 1. And then we try to find out the identity matrix in that. And whatever is the order of the identity matrix, that becomes the rank of a matrix. So now my job is to convert that given matrix in the form of zeros and 1. So guys, whenever we have to convert the given matrix to normal form, how do we start? So the step number one is we have to observe the upper leftmost element and this element we need to bring as one. So right now it is already one, but let's say if it is not one, then what we have to do? We have to interchange it with any column or any other row which has element as one. So that will get one over here. And let's say if we don't have one anywhere, then that time we have to divide this row with the same element. So let's say here we have seven. So we will divide the first row or the first column by seven so that here we can get one. So always remember, we have to bring one at this position. So already we have one. Now step number two is always bring zeros in the first row and the first column. So here we already have one. So now we have to bring zero over here and zero over here. So for that, we'll be doing the rows and column operations. So to bring zero over here, we have to subtract this row one from row two. So by doing R2 minus R1, we'll get zero here. Similarly, we have to multiply this row number one five times and we have to subtract it from row three so that we'll get zero over here. Now guys, you have to remember one thing that whenever we write such operations, so the first element that we are writing, it will be changed. So in R2 minus R1 case, R2 will change, R1 will remain same. And in this case, R3 will change. So this is a confusion with most of the student. They feel what will change and how it will change. So always remember the first element will change. Now let's start. So since R1 is not going to change, I'll keep R1 as it is, which is. Now guys, let's start with the first operation that is R2 minus R1. So 1 minus 1 will give us 0. 3 minus minus 1 will be 4. Minus 3 minus 3 will be minus 6. Then minus 4 minus 6 that is minus 10. So we got this as R2. Next, R3 minus 5 times R1. So 5 times of 1 is 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0. Next, 5 times of this is negative 5. So 3 minus minus 5. That is 8. Next, 5 times of this is 15. So 3 minus 15 is minus 12. Next, 5 times of this is 30. So 11 minus 30 is minus 19. So guys, here we got zeros. Now, let's bring zero over here. So for that, we have to do the column operations. So how we'll get it? So here I'll say by C2, that is the second column, plus C1. So if I do this, you can see that minus 1 plus 1, we can get 0 over here. Now to get 0 here, we'll do C3 minus 3 times C1. 
so i'll do three times of this and i'll subtract from this and in the end c4 minus 6 times c1 so guys by doing these three operations we'll get zero over here so so now guys we'll get this as the answer so the next step is you should bring this element as one and the other elements of that particular row and the column must be zero now guys to bring here one we have to divide this row or divide this column by four then only here we'll get one so guys before doing that if we subtract this row two from this row three then we can get zero over here you can see that if i multiply this row by two times so 4 into 2, 8, and 8 minus 8 can be 0. Similarly, 2 into minus 6 is minus 12, and subtraction of this will be 0. So what we'll do is, for simplicity, we'll make these two elements 0. Now, guys, by doing 2 times of this, we'll get minus 20, and if I subtract from minus 19, then we'll get 1. So here we got 0 and 0 and we got 1 also. Now let's bring this as 1. So for that we have to divide it by 4. So what I'll do is I'll divide this column C2 by 4. So guys by doing this we'll get. Now we got 1 over here. We got 0 over there. And now we have to bring 0 in the same row. So to bring 0 over here we'll multiply this column by 6. And then we'll add it in C3. Then we'll multiply it by 10 and we'll add it in C4. So that we'll get 0 over here. So guys, now we got all elements as zeros and 1. Now we just have to rearrange it to bring the identity matrix. So what I'll do is I'll exchange this column 4 with column 3. So that we'll get identity matrix over here. So interchanging C3 with C4, we got this as the value of A. And we'll rewrite this as I3, that is the identity matrix of order 3 and 0 over here. And guys, here you can see that since the order of identity matrix is 3, we can say that rank is 3. So guys, since it was asked to convert that matrix in the normal form, here we got the normal form. And... Uh, also, we wanted to find out the rank of the matrix and here we got the rank as 3. So, we have solved the equation. So, I'm sure now you understood how to convert any matrix into normal form and how to find out the rank. But keep watching the videos because in the next video, I'm going to cover more numericals on normal form so that this concept will get clear for all of you. Thank you very much for watching the videos and keep following Ikeda channel.